and welcome to another purveyor of light. Light room, quick tip. Uh, today we're taking a break from our normal routine, and I'm going to do something I've never done, and that is some shameless self-promotion. Um, I have just completed my uh, latest set of Lightroom Classic Vintage presets, and I was very, very pleased on how they came out and how well they perform. And I thought, hey, I'm going to go ahead and take some shameless, shameless uh, self-promotion here and show you guys uh, the presets. So if you're not into the presets, uh, well, just skip it for this week and we'll go back to our normal programming. If you are interested, let me show you around the preset pack and how it performs and works. Okay, so the uh, set is called My Vintage Preset. All right, and it's available on uh, lenerickson.com. In the store there, you can purchase it there. But I wanted to show you that one of the big problems about presets is they don't work on multiple images well. You know, the, the authors usually tune a preset to only work with a particular type of an image, uh, you know, a certain platelet, uh, you know, etc. So I've selected uh, extremely random photos here to show you that the preset pack of mine will work on all of these images and give you really good results. And that's the most important thing. So you get more for your money. You actually get a preset that will work on different types of photos. So I'm just going to quickly show you through on here. And uh, I'll just jump into the develop module. And we take a picture here. And I'm going to go into the... Uh, vintage preset here that I have and I'm just going to go through and you're going to see that for a portrait it all works as I go through the different portraits there you can see that all of this works uh, with this particular image and you say okay that's great all right but what's important to note is it works on every kind of photo so it's versatile okay this happens to be one of my favorite looks uh i love this old uh, vintage look here on the portrait and if you remember what we started out with there so really nice okay so let's go back in and, and do another one here so here's one that's totally different. Okay, here's a an environmental out and totally different, bright, vivid covers and that. Because there's no way that that, that preset's going to work well on uh, this photo. But it is going to work out. I go on to this preset thing here. Uh, this is the uh, the age look to the, you know, the I call them the Kodak time, Kodak film time emulations. And... They all work just wonderfully. Okay, the, the uh, preset adjusts beautifully to every palette, every picture. Okay, and none of them uh, do not work or come out perfectly. Uh, there's another great antique look. I, I just love the the old antique. The, to me, the, these type of photos, this process, this way give us a sense of emotion, uh, a tie to the photo. And I just think it's just, you know, another form of the art form. So like I said, I'm, I'm really proud of this particular preset pack. I think it's some of my best uh, work. So let's take another one here. I just want to keep showing you here that uh, it works with all kinds of photos. All right. So, Again, another photo. I can come in and do the things. And all the different photo looks, all available. And it does a great job of working with these particular photo packs. Okay. So let's come back in here. And let's take it to an extreme again. Here's a, a thing. Let's go ahead and make this thing like the Old West. Okay. We can do that with a nice 
click here, we can take it into a vintage look. Uh, we can, if we want to, we can come in and give it the old west look if we like, or even just a faded one. Um, all available, all the presets. And like I said, these are the same set of presets working on all these different images. Here's a guitar. Okay, so we'll come in and we'll do the same exact thing. We'll, we'll use the presets. And you can see they all produce quality results. Okay, and it's just a question of what your mood or what you're trying to, to communicate in the image. Okay, but you'll notice that all these presets work. Okay, they provide a look, a feel in the photo. Okay that you just don't get otherwise, okay? And like I said, I've worked really hard on these uh, particular presets so that we could get a really good quality product, okay? And not have a, uh, you know, a preset that only works on a particular image, okay? I, ha I happen to love, uh, because these, these presets give the, the photo a feel, uh, okay? Uh, a, a connection with the photo, more detail in that. And again, uh, you can always come in and do some adjustments. And uh, so I really, really am in love with it. So I'll do, uh, I'll do, uh, let's do the owl here. Or actually, I'll just do the, we'll do a little woodsy thing here. I'll just throw one in there. Can't possibly work with that, right? Look at that. Look at the quality result you get just from that okay quite quite a drastic change let's do the owl be the last one all right so again just hover over and get your things and you can come out and have a feel for photos okay a connection and a treatment that i think is quite versatile and again everything i'm showing you here today is the one preset pack okay and you see how versatile it is okay so that's it okay and i apologize but i don't apologize because this is the first time i'm actually doing some self-promotion on that so if you go to lenerickson.com uh this preset pack the vintage preset is available online uh and Boy, you know, I'm I'm really cheap. I think it's uh four four ninety-five. So if you have an extra spare five dollars, you could have this uh uh preset pack and uh, I think you're gonna find it very, very useful. Uh I'm I'm actually extremely in love with the, the photo pack because I'm so pleased on how it works so well with so many different types of photos. So all right. I appreciate you guys' time, and I hope you'll you'll be interested in seeing if this will work for you. Uh, and uh, until next week, you guys take care.